Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, exciting times. Um, I am sharing with you guys the um, KS Craft August release. Um, so this one is all about Christmas. Um, so last month, uh, the month of July was all Halloween and then this month is all about Christmas. Um, oh my gosh, so many fun ones. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to get out the dies ahead of time and some of these I can't get out. Okay, so um, yeah, so this one's all about Christmas. They, this is a huge release, you guys. I um, I did get most of the dies. Um, Hannah sent me most of the dies. There's a few I didn't um, get. Uh, I know there's like some school themed stuff that um, was super, super cute, like school themed. I didn't get those. And then I think there's a couple of Christmas ones that I didn't get, but I have almost everything. But if you wanna see the full release, um, go to um, KS Crafts YouTube channel and Hannah has all of the um, August release, including samples. So the first one here, I'm going to show you guys is the um, Parlor Christmas add-on. So if you're not familiar, um, a couple months ago, they did an ice cream parlor mini album. Um, and then they've done a um, Halloween add-on. Super, super cute. I haven't made that one yet. That's the last one I need to make um, using all the Halloween release. Um, and then this one is a Christmas add-on. Oh my gosh, there's so many pieces to this, you guys. So even if you don't have the mini album, all of these can be used for a lot of different things. So, um, you know, if you want to grab this one now, you can always add that parlor, um, the original ice cream parlor, a mini album at a later date if you're, you know, trying to kind of just do a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but the cool thing about this set is you've got, um, there's like a window box um, in the original set. So this is like a little um, snow for the window box. You've got like a little sign here. Um, you have this piece here so you can add um, a string of lights to the front of the um, ice cream parlor. So it looks like um, like a storefront is what it looks like. So you can add that and then these are the layering pieces. You have the sweetest little gingerbread man with all the little pieces to do his face and the icing and all that good stuff. Um, this piece here, I'm not 100% if, if you can add, oh, I almost feel like you might be able to add a chimney. I don't know. I have to look at the example. Um, gingerbread is kind of across the top of the ice cream parlor. Um, so it looks like a, um, like signage for the storefront. So you can make the storefront look, um, with maybe a bunch of gingerbread men. You could actually put the Christmas tree, like in the window, um, you could do like a little sweet shop with like cupcakes and candy canes and that sort of thing. So there's kind of a lot you can do with this set. Oh, look at this. This is like a little cookie, but I love the shape of that tree. You can make so many fun embellishments with just this tree. The bow, um, that little candy cane. You have a wreath that you can add to the door. Um, you have the word bakery. So and I think this right here is like, it goes this way and it, it's like a little stand that you can put kind of in the window and then put like your treats on top of that. Um, I love this one here. So yeah, you guys, lots and lots and lots. Um, so stay tuned for some fun um, ideas with that one. Um, the other one is the scalloped candy cane tags. And this is just like a tiny little set, but oh, how versatile, like I think, um, this is super cute. I love that you get two sizes and I love that you have, um, like you have your base piece, which has this scallop design. So I think that would be really cute to do in white and then, um, add this, which is the top part. So that will help to create like the stripes on the candy cane. And you can do this in so many colors. You can do red, you can do, you know, pink, blues, whatever you want. So that's why I'm saying like, this is super, super versatile. And then um, you can just have these little candy canes or you can add this piece right here, <clears throat> excuse me, which makes it into a tag. So super, super fun. Love that one. Um, actually there's, I love the, all of these are like all so amazing. Um, okay. So this one here is called the small gingerbread man. Um, look, you guys, He's the perfect size. So like here, just for reference, my hand, he's like the perfect size for um, just a bunch of embellishments. 
You have um, two different bows, so you can create like a little bow with some tails or, or more like a bow tie. You have the layering piece for the bow there, and then this is the layering piece for that. Um, you have the facial expressions here, and so you can do a very girly one with the long eyelashes or one that's um, uh, the, like this right here, so not quite so girly. Um, so yeah, you can kind of make the face a couple of different ways. And then I love this right here is the icing. So, you know, a lot of times on gingerbread men, you just have kind of that squiggly line. So this is actually like a little fun twist to the icing. So you can see the icing is a little bit different on this one. So I, I think this is a great one to add to your collection just because it's different than um, what you usually see. Okay, so this one here is the 2024 Christmas Shadow Words. So um, this has a, like a little bit different font and um, kind of a little bit more like phrases. Instead of just like a word, it's more like a phrase. So um, you've got Mistletoe Kisses, um, Merry and Bright. Ooh, I love that one. Um, whoops, what do we have? Sometimes I have trouble reading these. Um, cookie... Oh, how cute. Cookie Tester, um, Santa's Helper, and then um, Candy, oh, Candy Cane Wishes. So those are super fun and they're a good size. Like they're not super large. Um, so I like that they're a little bit smaller because it's a longer phrase. Um, so these will be perfect to add to um, your different, you know, Halloween, or Halloween, oh my gosh. I still have Halloween on my mind. Christmas like embellishments and stuff. Okay, um, then we have the Gingerbread Man bag toppers. You actually get two in the set. So you get the small one here and then you get a large one. Um, like perfect size to make some really fun bag toppers. You of course have um, all of the pieces here to add your frosting and all the good stuff. You have layering pieces. I kind of feel like this could perhaps be a shaker if you wanted it to be um, with because you have those two layers, but this is gonna layer on top of here. And then you have all the fun stuff to kind of make him come alive. And then you have the exact same thing in the larger size. Um, so super, super cute. And if you didn't want to create bag toppers, you have um, just these two really fun um, sizes of gingerbread men. So this is like a really fun one as well. Um, we've got the 3D candy cane bag holder. So you kind of need to see this one put together and I'm not a hundred percent. I think this, I think this is the bottom and then it has a score line here. So it folds up. You've got a window so you can add a piece of acetate if you want. Um, and then this, so this is the front of your bag. And then this piece here, I'm pretty sure what you do is you attach it right there. Okay, so this is gonna fold upwards. So you're gonna have a window now. And then this piece folds down so you have a nice little flap. And then your sides are open. And it, so it kind of is gonna be like a little bit of like a triangle. And you can fit like a goodie bag inside here. And then whatever's in your goodie bag, so if candies or treats, is gonna show through your window. So you actually don't even need to add acetate because if you use like um, the clear goodie bags, that's just gonna you know show through your window. Um, this right here is a layering piece um, for your flap. You can see your flap's gonna have a really fun little detail. Um, you have these, which kind of look like little hanging tags. I'm not sure exactly. Maybe if you, oh, if you want to like just cut a, like a little tag maybe and have like a little hanging tag. You have the super fun rosette. So, I mean, that is the cutest little mini rosette. I'm so in love with that. And you also have um, a shadow word, oops, that spells out gift with a really pretty font. And then you have this piece here, which um, it's the same pattern here. And I think you can kind of, um, I think Hannah showed it. You can use it to decorate your, like your sides of your bag if you want. Um, so, and then this you could use on so many different projects if you just need like a little border. So this one is super, super fun. And then we have, oh, another bag 
um, topper. This is called the Holiday Magic Bag Topper. So there's a ton of these in KS Crafts line um, where you have like a, a bag topper that has like a giant word and then you have like a layering word that kind of goes you know, kind of over the top of that word. And then you have like a layering piece here that layers for your handle. And I love like that stitch detail that goes around the word. So this one spells out holiday and then um, magic. So kind of turn it this way. Magic is gonna be kind of right here. So that's the G. So it's gonna be like magic, um, holiday magic. So super, super fun. These are like really easy, super simple. You can make a ton of these so quickly. Um, so I love, love, love that. Um, super excited about this one. Um, this is the Christmas reindeer bows. Um, and there's two, yeah, two sizes. So we've got the small one here, which um, you have, oh, I love that you have like a layering piece. So there's your antler and there's the layering piece for your antler. Then you have the the um, two bows so you can you can layer your bow or like double up so you can have like two bows. I usually just do a single. I'm not a huge fan of the double bows. Um, they're super cute. I just, I think I'm just lazy and I don't wanna make them like that. So, um, but yeah, I love that you have choices of layering that up or doing them separate. So you could basically get three different types of bows out of this one set. There's your tails. And then if you can see here, you've got two super cute little facial expressions. Um, so you could add eyes kind of to your, the, like the tops of your bow here. And even if you don't wanna use those on the bows, these are perfect when you're doing like gingerbread man, men or any other type of little um, character. Now you've got some pieces there to um, make different facial expressions. And then you have the exact same thing um, just in the larger size. So I really love the option of having like two different sizes. So KS Craft does a good job with always giving you those um, choices of, you know, having multiple sizes. Um, okay, so, um, the next one is the Snowflake Mini Album. Super fun. Um, this is a simple set, just four pieces. You have your base piece here. You have a stitched layering piece right here. Then you have this piece, which is, you know, your main snowflake pattern. And then if you want it to be a little more 3D, you could add this one kind of like right on top um, and pop that up on some foam. And I would probably pop each of these layers up on foam. So this is gonna be like very dimensional, um, especially for your cover. And then you can have your pages maybe a little flatter. So this will be fun for a mini album, an embellishment book. I think this is gonna make super, super cute Christmas cards. Um, and then you could even just use the snowflake pattern if you wanted to, I bet you could do some fun Christmas ornaments with this. So kind of a lot you can do with just this like simple set. And then the last one that I have is called the Large Gingerbread Man Shaker. So this is much larger than I expected it to be. And I am so excited because I think this is like a perfect mini album size. Um, so, and, and then the fact that you can turn this into a shaker, it's like so, so exciting. So you have, let's see, which, I don't know which piece is which. I think this is your base piece here. So this will cut out your base piece. I usually do cardstock and then I'll do a layer of pattern paper and then um, a layer of acetate. So that's what you're using this piece for. And then this piece, as you can see, is going to cut out your frame. And I love that there's a stitch detail in the middle of this frame. So you're gonna cut this out once in foam and once in whatever cardstock you wanna use, that's gonna create your shaker. But you don't even have to do this as a shaker. You can you know, choose how you want to do it. And this has the same pattern as that um, small um, gingerbread man that I showed you guys earlier. So you have those fun little frosting patterns, totally different than what we're used to. Love that. You have a, um, a bow tie and a bow, the layering pieces for the center. And then you again have those fun little um, extra facial expressions. So what do you guys think? Oh my gosh, so, so exciting. So um, that's definitely one of my favorites. I like to try to give you guys like my top, top 
Um, let's see if I can find my favorites. I would say the this one here, the um, reindeer would definitely be up there. Um, oh my gosh, it's so hard to choose. There's so many. Um, I definitely love the mini mini one. You can't really have too many of those. Um, I love the scallop candy canes. And then I really, really love this um, add-on to the um, ice cream parlor. And I think it's because you just get all these extra pieces that you can use even if you're not doing that mini album. You've got tons that you can make, um, you know, like so many different little embellishments and things. So um, what is that? One, two, three, four, five. So I guess that's my top five, guys. I'd love to hear what your top five are. So leave that in the comments below. Tell me your top five. Just curious. I love to see what, you know, everybody's excited about. Um, so, okay, well, you can find all of these on KS Crafts um, AliExpress store. And um, if they're not on Amazon yet, I know they will be soon. So definitely check there if you are in a hurry. But this will probably come. I mean, honestly, I feel like it's only going to take, you know, a couple of weeks. It's so fast. They're so fast now. I used to, AliExpress used to take a long time, but it no, it no longer really does. I mean, maybe depending on where you're at in the world, but I feel like it just takes... Um, takes about two, two and a half weeks, probably three weeks max for me. All right, guys, um, that's it. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.